The prices of Ethereum and Chainlink are currently lagging behind quite a lot compared to other altcoins and even other big altcoins. In my opinion, they are even suppressed. And in this video, we're going to talk about who is doing that and why they are being suppressed and when this will finally end and the prices can finally fly. That is what we're going to talk about in this video. So I think it will be a very interesting one. So let's dive into it. In this video, you're able to find one of the cryptocurrencies that you need in order to win one of the really cool prizes from the 100,000 subscribers giveaway. In total, there will be over $3,000 in different prices, $1,500 worth of Travala credits to make your dream holidays or two combo packs of the Engrave Zero and the Graphene from the coldest cold wallet company Engrave or five times a package of $150 worth of merch from Bitcoin Movement. If you want to know more about the giveaway, you can find the full explanation in the description of the video as well as the form that you need to submit to eventually win. Good luck, guys. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Quinton and make sure to be subscribed by clicking the subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, please also hit that thumbs up button if you think it was a good video. So much more people will be able to watch my video. All right, guys, let's dive into it. And I want to start with telling you a story. I want to start with telling you the story of alt season that started at the end of December for most cryptocurrencies. So here, let's start with Polkadot having a look at its price development in the last several months. So since let's say the 25th of December, the price was $5. Right now, the price is 36.4. That is an increase of times seven since the end of December. So Polkadot went times seven, not bad, right? Then we have Binance Coin. Binance Coin is currently $283. While at the end of December here, it was only $32.5. That means that it went up times nine since the end of December. That is huge. And if we count even to the all time high, it went up to times 12 since the end of December. Also not bad, right? Now let's have a look at engine. That's also one of my personal holdings. So I'm just giving you guys some examples out of my own portfolio. And engine is currently $2.10. If we have a look at, to the price of engine, at the end of December, it was only 14 cents of a dollar. That means that it went up more or less times 15 since the end of December. I mean, that is already really crazy, right? Now let's go and have a look to the next one. Um, that is Polygon or the ticker is Matic. Currently worth 46 cents of a dollar. Really doing amazingly well. If we have a look to the price of um, Polygon, at the end of December, it was only 1.6 cents of a dollar. That means that Polygon went up times 25 since the end of December. That is an insane performance. This one I also bought just over a month ago at 4 cents of a dollar. So I'm already up times 11 with Polygon in the last month or so. Now, let me show you two other cryptocurrencies. First one, Ethereum. Ethereum is currently worth nearly $1,800. At the end of December right here, it was sitting at more or less $600. So that means that it went up times three more or less since that moment, since the end of December. Then we have Chainlink. Chainlink is also uh, not performing so bad, but if you compare it to the other ones, we see that Chainlink was, um, let's say at $12 more or less, um, at the end of December, while well, right now it is sitting at $29. That means that Chainlink went up with times two and a half. So we need to start working with halves uh, to tell you how much it went up, uh, but times two and a half. Now, Ethereum and Chainlink are actually underperforming compared to like the average altcoin. I just showed you a few of them, but basically all altcoins in my portfolio went up more than Ethereum and Chainlink. Now, before we're going to discuss what's happening to Chainlink and Ethereum, why the price is lagging behind so much and why I even think it is suppressed, let me do a, a quick shout out to the long-term partner of my channel, which is crypto.com. 
And what is cool about crypto.com is you have an all-in-one platform on which you can do different things such as stake your cryptocurrencies and earn a very nice reward on that. But also like you have a crypto visa card connected to your wallet and you can spend your cryptocurrencies with crypto.com personally i also have like a crypto.com visa card as you can see right here i own this one the um the jade green one here in tier three uh, but you also have like a free card right here as you can see um there is a free card it's made out of plastic the other ones are made out of metal um you get like a one percent cashback on everything you spent with your free uh, crypto.com visa card then you can also go for like um, a higher tier which are all made out of metal and it looks really really good i mean like if i order something in a restaurant for example they often ask like hey what is this and you can start a conversation about crypto because the cards look so good they often ask that but anyway uh, the first metal tier here for that you need to stake not pay stake 5000 cro tokens that is currently worth one thousand dollars so you need to stake one thousand dollars to get this ruby steel card you get two percent cashback which is double of the free one and you also get free spotify as long as you stake your cro tokens that is also really cool and some increased card limits as well then we have the next tier that for that you need to stake fifty thousand cro tokens this is the one that i have by the way um that is worth ten thousand dollars right now the cro uh, rewards are three percent so three percent cashback on everything you spend free spotify as well as free netflix and airport lounge access and some really cool increased card limits as well and then we have two higher tiers here as you can see uh, but i don't think they are very relevant for most of you guys because you need to stake like one hundred thousand dollars for this one and for this one even one million dollars for the god tier card the obesian uh, black card right here but they have even more uh, major benefits here such as amazon prime a free expedia discount airbnb and much more now there is a link in the description down below and if you decide to go for a metal tier card with this referral link you receive a 25 dollar welcome bonus so use the referral link in the description down below if you're interested in getting yourself a crypto.com visa card and spend your cryptocurrencies for your daily expenses for example i'm personally doing that uh, this is not like a promotion or something i personally use my crypto.com visa card for almost all my daily expenses all right let's go further with the video and let's talk about the price suppression of ethereum and chainlink now i want to say that uh, recently i listened to a podcast and i cannot remember which one it was but on this podcast they interviewed someone from a big um, institutional fund that is buying cryptocurrencies for their partners for their institutional investors and this person said that they often use the services of market makers to buy in these cryptocurrencies cheaper and they gave the example of specifically ethereum they said like look we also used in the past the services of market makers who can like suppress the price of ethereum so every time it wants to start moving so it wants to pick up on momentum a market maker automatically dumps the price again and this is how these institutions these big funds such as grayscale for example they are accumulating ethereum that is how they do it and that is i think also the reason what we're seeing right here happening for ethereum and chainlink because to be honest it's not a coincidence that it happens with in my opinion the two best altcoins in the world ethereum and chainlink the ones that are really getting a lot of institutional interest that's not like um, a subjective opinion that's simply a fact we see that grayscale for example also shows interest in like adding uh, a chain link to their to their to their trust so make a chain link trust uh, they're also adding a lot of ethereum in the neck in the last several months and years so institutional interest is really big for ethereum and Chainlink, and we see that other altcoins that doesn't have this um this institutional interest they're actually outperforming ethereum and Chainlink by a lot even though we see that ethereum and Chainlink are actually going down a lot in supply on exchanges which means that people or institutions or whatever else uh, someone or something is accumulating a lot of these cryptocurrencies but they're using the services of a market maker to keep the price down because in crypto the most important thing to see like price action is of course fomo and momentum 
And if market makers don't allow Ethereum and Chainlink to pick up on momentum, then of course we will not see like a big price increase. Well, this is something totally else for other smaller altcoins that don't have like their prices suppressed. So this is really happening and we have some proof for that, not only like the podcast that I listened to and the person from the big uh, fund who said like, yeah, we're using that to accumulate Ethereum as well. And once these market makers stop, of course, the price will start flying. So hopefully that happens soon for both Ethereum and Chainlink. But let me show you this. This is from Chainlink. And in the last 30 days alone, so in the last month, 15.3 million link disappeared from exchanges or not disappeared but went off exchanges right now it's only like 121 million that is left on exchanges that means that over 10 percent of all the supply on exchanges went off it and went into cold storage that is huge, 15 million link. I mean, like, of course, people are talking about, yeah, uh, the price of, uh, of the team of Chainlink is like unlocking tokens and dumping that on the market. First of all, we don't have proof that this is happening. And second of all, in the grand scheme of things, like 1 million or 1.5 million link um, per week is not huge, especially if you look at these numbers, there's like fifth, more than 15 million that went off exchanges in the last month. But I don't think that's the main thing. In my opinion, the main thing is price suppression by market makers. We see this happening on the link chart every single time. Once the price wants to pick up on momentum, once the price goes up with 10%, the next day it immediately started dumping. It always happened like that in the past few months same for ethereum so i think there is sufficient proof to say that big institutions are currently buying in and someone or something is using the services of market makers to keep the price down and let don't let the the, the coin pick up on momentum so this is actually very big if we see a few more months like this the supply is really just going to dry up on exchanges and eventually this needs um to compensate with a price increase, obviously. So yeah, this is happening currently for Link and that is a very big sign as well that it's still looking very good for Link. Um, but yeah, the price is not picking up on that. Now, if we have a look, for example, to uh, the exchange reserves of Ethereum, we see that uh, last year in August, the exchange reserve was still 25 million. While right now, the exchange reserve is 20 million. That means that over 20% of all the ETH went off exchanges in the last half a year or so. And this is to me also like um, a very good piece of proof that we see like big institutions accumulating because the prices went up actually quite a lot for Ethereum, but the supply on exchanges went on keeping down. That, is, that only means one thing, and that is that there is more interest in Ethereum than um, like to keep it in cold storage than to like sell Ethereum once the price increases. And that is also a very good thing. So yeah, this is what I think is happening to Ethereum and Chainlink currently. I think the prices are suppressed. And in my opinion, it's not a coincidence that the two best altcoins um, in the world, Ethereum and Chainlink, are lagging behind in price so much. Also compared to other big altcoins such as Polkadot and, and Binance Coin, for example. Um, with all respect, because I also hold them and I truly believe in what they're doing. But it's just the fact that, for example, Polkadot and Binance Coin don't have so much institutional interest, while Ethereum and Chainlink do have that. But Chainlink and Ethereum are not going up in price so hard as Polkadot and Binance Coin, for example. So, of course, you can already see the connection, what I want to say with that. I do believe that Ethereum and Chainlink are currently being suppressed and once that stops so once institutional investors maybe for example grayscale grayscale showed like interest in adding a uh, chain link maybe they are accumulating right now and using like the service of a market maker again it won't be the first time so maybe they are accumulating but once that stops the price will start picking up compared to other altcoins so we need to see like this momentum coming back to Ethereum and Chainlink and then I think we are in for a very nice rally for both of these altcoins. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to be subscribed by clicking the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.